Welcome to this presentation on deleting non-essential legends, schedule sheets, and views in your Revit models using iDate Explorer. My name is Katrina Vieira Rodriguez of iDate Software. As we work on a Revit project, it is common for the project team to add numerous views, legends, schedules, and sheets to the model that we may need at one point in time, but not necessarily as we move forward with the project or when we're preparing the model for exchange with other consultants. This is when we are faced with the tedious task of cleaning up the non-essentials in what has most likely become a very long list that we all know as a project browser. We can make this task easier by using the Navigate tab in the ID8 Explorer tool. The Navigate tab gives us another way of accounting for all legends, schedules, sheets, and views that we may have in a Revit project. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can use ID8 Explorer to remove non-essential legends, schedule sheets, and views from our Revit model, whether it be for simply cleaning up our own model or for preparing our model for exchange with consultants. The ID8 Explorer tool can be found in the ID8 Software ribbon, ID8 Software panel, ID8 Explorer tool. In this tool, we have two tabs, the Explore tab, which gives us a listing of all elements in our model and the Navigate tab, which gives us a listing of all legends, schedule, sheets, and views in our model. Here we can see that in this project file, we have a total of 34 legends. If we expand the list under legends, we can see that out of the 34 total, one is a keynote legend and 33 are legend views. If we compare this with our project browser, under legends, we also see a listing of all legends in our project, but not in the same format as we see it in ID8 Explorer. If we go back to ID Explorer, we can further expand the list to show all instances of legends under each type. We can delete a legend by selecting the box next to it. We can also delete all legends by selecting the box next to legends and then selecting ID Delete. Before ID Explorer deletes these legends, it first gives us a dialog box, which tells us exactly what we're deleting as well as a total count. We can either cancel or proceed with a deletion. Upon deleting, we can see that the legends have disappeared from the Navigate tab, as well as in the project browser, as expected. So now we'll take a look at the schedules in our model. I'll expand the list so we can see the total counts of each type of schedule that exists in our model. We can further expand and go through the list and check the instances of schedules that we want to delete. And then once again, we can hit the Delete button with an iDate Explorer, review the dialog box, and then hit delete. We can do the same thing with sheets and views in our model, but the breakdown is slightly different. Let's expand the list of views in this model. Here we can see that views are broken down into two categories, views that are not on a sheet and views that are on a sheet. These two categories are broken down even further by the different types of views and then the different instances. Now we can go through the list of views in an efficient manner and check those that need to be deleted. Perhaps we can delete 3D working views that consultants don't really need to see on their end. And then we'll go to delete, review the dialog box, and if it's good, we'll hit delete at the bottom. Lastly, we'll take a look at the sheets in our model. If we expand this list, there are two categories, sheets that are in the sheet list and those that are not in the sheet list. These two categories are further broken down into sheets that have views on them and those that do not. Again, we can select the ones that we no longer need internally or for the coordination model, like these bulletins perhaps, and then select Delete with an iDate Explorer. Again, we'll review the dialog box and then hit Delete. To delete all legends, schedule sheets and views at once, we can make any 3D model view or active view, then use iDate Explorer to select all the items on the Navigate tab, deselect our active view, which in this case happens to be the default 3D view, and finally use the Delete button with an iDate Explorer. Once again, we'll review the dialog box and then hit Delete. If we take a look at the Navigate tab, the only item left is our active 3D default view. And if we take a closer look at our project browser, we can see that there is now only the 3D default view, but all other views, legends, schedules, and sheets have now been deleted from the project. Whether we are cleaning up our Revit model internally or preparing it for exchange with other consultants, 
ID8 Explorer helps to easily review and delete all non-essential legends, schedule sheets, and views. For those of you that have ID8 apps, it contains the ID8 Quick Select tool that gives you some of the same ability to delete unwanted legends, schedule sheets, and views. ID8 Quick Select does not have the easy to access navigate tab that displays these elements in a single panel, but you can still review legend schedule sheets and views within the larger list of Revit model elements. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. For more information, visit us at id8software.com forward slash ID8 Explorer.